Hey everybody, it's Angela. I just wanted to show you this um, little scrapbook album that I made um, to scrapbook some of my husband's um, old photos from when he lived on a ranch growing up. And I got this idea from ScrapSupply.com um, where she does a makes an album out of an old record album. And I found this one, which is Gunfighter Ballads, and I thought it would be good for a cowboy or ranch-themed album. And so I spiral-bound it. Um, the only things I had problems with were that because this is such an old record, the cardboard was kind of fragile, and... Um, and along with the LP itself. So if I were to do it again, I'd probably use a newer album, um, one that wasn't quite so brittle. And what I did was I, I punched the cardboard in my spiral binder, and then I took a scrap piece of paper and punched it in my spiral binder, and then laid it on, taped it on top of this, and then followed all the holes using my crocodile. So it does take a little while. The crocodile goes through this no problem, um, but it does take a while to punch all these holes. And like I said, it was a little brittle, so I was really worried that it was going to just fall apart. Um, but I made it through, and um, I cut the edges off, and you can watch her, her video. Again, that's ScrapSupply.com, and she goes over how to make the album. But essentially, there's the record, and then there's the front of the record cover, and then the back of the record album is the back. And I just um, inked the edges black and um, covered the inside of the cardboard with a black um, scrapbook paper. And then essentially, this is still a work in progress, but um, I'm just pulling out old photos of like when they were taking, uh, getting their cattle ready for to go to market, and um, these were a bunch of old um, 110 camera uh, photos that had really yellowed, and so I was able to scan them in and bring the colors back a little more true. And none of them were, you know, super great photos. You know, with a 110 camera, you couldn't, you know, take great quality photos back then. Um, but they all had special memories that, you know, he wanted to preserve. And so I just um, scrapbook them, scrapbooked them um, digitally and uh, used this layout where you could get a lot of photos in there. And um, I got the layout and the um, scrapbook papers and embellishments from scrapgirls.com. And I have space for another one here, and then I bound in the envelope that has um, my husband's cattle brand. So this is the paperwork where they register the the brand that they're going to brand their cattle with. And so these are his actual papers from it's like 1971, and um, these were some old photos he had taken again with the 110 camera, um, like four different photos and he scanned them all together. And so all these years later, I was able to um, put the colors back to their true uh, color and photo merge them all together for him so he could see it as the actual panorama that he took as a kid. And again, all these um, scrapbooking papers are from uh, scrapgirls.com. Same with this. This is my husband showing a, a mule. And um, these were pictures kind of of the same hills um, at their ranch during the different seasons. And then they built a lot of different horse trailers and um, haulers and stuff in a metal shop there. So I have that. I've got some old newspaper clippings. I've got some small page, 8 and a half by 11 page protectors and 12 by 12 page protectors in here some ephemera for when he was working as a mule packer, and um, just a clear acetate page. It's another 12 by 12 that's empty. These are just some uh, large photo holders that I got at Goodwill um, for, it looks like, 5 by 7 photos. And um, So I just have a picture of a mule that he packed, and um, this is a 
newspaper article of someone who poached one of his cows, which was terrible. Some pictures from the ranch. And then I've got more pages here that I haven't filled up yet. I'm still going through all of his um, ephemera. And again, I just covered the back, ink the edges, and used the back of the album. So it's, um, you know, it's a nice theme album. It was fun to do. And like I said, if I was to do it again, I'd probably use a photo album and a record album that were newer and a little less uh, fragile than these. But otherwise, I think it turned out great. Thanks for watching.